Hello everyone and welcome to Space Engineers. So today I want to show you this invention I made. It's a winding machine uh, based on a concept of a cable made with conveyor hinges. So as you can see, uh, it's pretty simple to make. It's supported by two rotors, one advanced rotor for conveying the material and one normal rotor right here, which is actually the main rotor, the motor that will make it turn. So let's just show you, okay, right here I have an automatic repair system. So if ever the cable is damaged while you're mining or uh, any sort of damage done to the cable will automatically be, will be repaired while it's coming in or coming out. So let's show you the settings on these rotors so you can see how it works. So right here. This is the normal rotor, not the advanced rotor. As you can see, torque is uh, 600, freaking torque is 91 kilonewton. So when it's off, you can pull the cable out. The, uh, the mining ship has enough power to pull the cable out at this setting. When it's rewinding, let's turn it on. As you can see, it'll automatically rewind. You can even leave your miner ships or your grinding ships behind. It'll pull them back in without an issue. The end, there's a connector at the end and it will get blocked here by these round blocks. I use round blocks to make sure there wasn't any edges because I used normal blocks before and uh, the hinges would get blocked in the angles and they just start stop moving. So. I've tested this in a lot of different situations and 90% uh, of the time it won't get blocked. It does sometimes, you might have to move it a bit with your ship to unblock it, but it's not a big issue really. So as you can see, let me turn this thing off because I don't want it rewinding totally. It'll take a long time to pull it out again. Okay. So, I want to show you, I remade this miner ship, it's a basic mining ship, but it doesn't have any cargo containers except the small one, it's just for survival. Uh, I left a bit of oxygen in there and uranium, just in case you get unhooked to your main base. So, it's got more thrusters, more powerful, more gyroscopes to make it more agile. The big modification is this rotor, this advanced rotor at the end to make sure the materials will be conveyed. Uh, connectors, there are two connectors here, and it's pretty strong. I've never had the connectors unhook themselves. Well, actually, maybe once, but it was more of a bug of the game because even though the connector was unhooked, uh, I still had access to my materials in my base just as if it was hooked. So that was a pretty weird bug, but it only happened once. So, over here, you can see. I have one hinge in every direction to make sure the, um, the cable is flexible and can go in all directions. Let me just show you the setting on these hinges. So the hinges are set to pretty low torque, about half of what they originally are. I think they're about 60 when uh, you, you build them. So I haven't touched any of the other settings not very useful so I use only one mod for this it's obviously the conveyor hitches mod uh, that was pretty unnecessary couldn't make it otherwise but let's go ahead and do some mining I'll pull some more cable out so right now I have on this wheel it's 11 blocks diameter wheel uh, I can put a hundred conveyor hinges on it. Maybe I could fit a bit more, but a hundred conveyor hinges will give you 250 meters. So basically, uh, you could go on the other side of this asteroid to mine it. You could mine the whole totality of the asteroid without an issue. So I'm going to pull a bit more cable and then I'll go show you how this thing works. Well, I've tested it in lots of different situations. Uh, I've tested it with gravity fields, I even made a horizontal wheel. Uh, it works pretty well. It's pretty bulletproof and I haven't had many issues with it. So let's 
let's go do some lighting. So as you can see, the cable is pretty flexible. The only thing you should not do is move <laughs> too fast because the cable obviously will take some momentum and won't stop. Oops, I'm kind of lost right now. Uh, there we go. So there's some ice over there, some iron. I would go hit on that. So I remade the a grinding ship, a welding ship, a mining ship, especially made for this cable. So I'll put this all everything on the workshop today or tomorrow. I even made a big ship with one of these wheels on it and I'll show you how that works just after. Let's go ahead and do some mining. As you can see the cable is flexible, it doesn't break, uh, the connector doesn't unhook, the advanced rotor is actually pretty strong and it's not unhooked. So when you mine, you, you shouldn't really bother for your cable, so don't mine the cable, obviously it might damage it. I've only had minor damage to the cable and that it'll be repaired automatically when it comes back in, so don't worry about that. I've made tunnels through asteroids and the cable will follow you. You can back up the cable, it's no issue at all. So right now the mining is pretty slow, I am playing on survival game. It's normal survival mode, destructible blocks on. Uh, just to show you that nothing is breaking. This is basic survival, and that's why the mining is taking longer than it would in creative. So anyways, you can see this works pretty well. The good thing about this is that you do not have to go back to your base to empty your cargo. So a small miner like this is basically enough. You don't need to make a big miner like, like normally you used to do in end games to get more material. To store more materials when you go to a mining to an asteroid to avoid having to make too many runs to your base. Basically, with a small miner, the basic miner you start off with, uh, it's got very little cargo. So, when you mine high density stuff, uh, your cargo will fill pretty quickly and you'll have to keep going to your base to empty it, which is loss of time and pretty annoying. Another thing that it's good for is for grinding. Because as you can see over there, there's a red ship. And I could entirely grind it without ever having to empty my car. So it's pretty good. I made a mobile rig with this um, cable on. So you can actually use that and go to another asteroid, mine the whole asteroid, come back, empty your cargo. This cable will also you know, you can use it as a normal conveyor system to empty your ships. There are lots of uses for it. And I uh, kind of like it. I haven't played a survival, really, I haven't made this in a real survival game yet. Because uh, I think survival is a bit broken at the moment. Uh, there are a few issues which will be fixed eventually, I'm sure of it. So let me unhook this ship. Like that. Unhook this ship and let's rewind it and show you how this thing rewinds. So as you can see, I didn't, I didn't, you know, the cable's a bit of a mess right now. I didn't, I didn't bother putting it in a straight line or anything. It's not useful. This will rewind very easily. Could have done it from the ship when it was connected, but let's just show you like this. Okay, so here it goes, rewinding, and you can see it works pretty easily. Only rarely will it get stuck in an angle. For example, if one hitch comes and hits this angle, it might get blocked, so you might have to come and push it with a ship or something. But that only happens rarely. I haven't had much issues with that. 
I could set the speed on this just a tiny bit faster. Right now it's kind of on a safety mode, but let's just speed it up again for the for the video. So obviously when the the cable you know when there's more inside it will go faster it's kind of slow in the beginning when it's in the near the axis and then as, as there is more I don't know how to say that but when there is more cable the it'll go faster with the same speed on the rotors but the, the torque is not enough to actually damage the cable only thing that could happen is that this thing goes flying into a ship or something or starts breaking windows but any damage on the cable will automatically be repaired so I haven't had many problems with this as you can see it's all rewinding Connector at the end will make sure that the cable stops when it reaches this point, as we'll soon see. Oh, so you can see the welders are actually working there, repairing. You need the materials in your storage to actually repair them, so as you can see, it stopped, and there it's all rewinded, and everything is working perfect. So over here I remade a Grinder ship and a welding ship. These are just basic ships. They do have cargo containers, so you could use them separately. They've got batteries and uh, reactors, so... You could use them without the cable. I'm not going to go ahead and hook them up because it'll take a long time to take the cable out. And I'm sure by now you get the basics of this system. So I could grin this whole ship and all of the materials will end up in my large cargo containers here. I could weld my whole base without ever having to go get materials. So I'm sure you guys in the survival game have been annoyed by these small ships and their small cargo space. Also the mass contained in these ships will make them less agile when they're full. So having you know this hinge system allows you to not have many materials in the ship itself. So you will be more agile and um, you'll have less itch issues with maneuvering and stuff. So, so let me go ahead and show you this mobile rig I made. It's actually a ship, I called it the Utility LR ship. So I had a technical issue, I'm sorry about that. This video will be cut, but... So I wanted to show you this ship, I called the Utility LR. I'll put this on the workshop, just as I will put the grinders and welding ships. They're all based on the same concept, so as you can see here, in the front, I have the same wheel. Uh, I'm not going to go in there because the welders are going to kill me, but I have this wheel, it's horizontal, it's got 100 conveyor hitches and 250 meters of cable, so this is a basic uh, working rig, it's got, you know, big hangar, you can put all your mining ships, grinning ships in, in it, it's got oxygen farms, solar panels, a lot of batteries, a huge amount of uh, storage capacity. It's got pretty lots of power. See big thrusters here, two hydrogen thrusters at the end. Make sure once you're full you'll have enough power to actually move the ship. Some basic defense, nothing too much. So let's go and show you the inside. I really like these new sliding doors, makes it pretty easy to get into a ship. Thanks.
thanks to Kane for that. They've made a lot of improvements to the game lately. Um, it's still not perfect. We can see asteroids. That's pretty good. Playing Dakes 11 right now. Um, you can see sometimes there are some problems with the lighting. It'll get all dark or be too bright. But I'm sure that'll be fixed soon. So this is the hangar. Got four docking areas. I've used uh, landing pads because uh, landing gears because I don't like I didn't want to put any merge blocks and the connectors on the back of my ships made for this system they got rotors and uh, it's not a good idea to connect your ship with the rotor when you start moving your ship they'll just move in all different directions and they'll be damaged into it so as you can see here we've got refineries basically when you're mining printing and all the materials will be will be proce processed in the ship so it's actually just a base a mobile base um, let's show you the um, the wheel that I have in the front so there is no oxygen in the front that's why I have this these doors here so here you are a hundred meter, hundred uh, conveyor hinges, two hundred and fifty meters of cable, same repair system in the front. So yeah, basically that's it. This works well, just as good as the other one. The only issue with it is obviously the rotors. So as you can see here, the rotors. So having rotors on a moving ship is not a good idea at the moment. I think they improved the pistons, haven't really tested that out yet. I hope they'll improve the rotors so we can actually use them properly. So what I'm going to do is go get a ship. Let me just open the doors here. I'll go get a ship and show you how this works. Um, open. Let's go get a welding ship and pull up this cable to show you that it won't move the ship and the ship will handle it pretty well, just as well as on the base. The only is issue, as, as I said, is um, when you move the ship. So I tested it at 80 meters second, it's pretty okay. Over 80 meters second, the rotors will explode. And destroy your ship so don't move too fast while you move don't uh, make too sudden movements it's got lots of gyroscopes and power so when you're full the cargo is full it'll still be agile enough to to actually move so let's hook this up Okay, and pull it out. When you pull this out, I recommend you don't go faster than a three meter second. I set the braking torque enough. Normally, you won't go faster, but occasionally it might. So just make sure you, you don't go too fast when you pull it out or you might damage the rotors or something. So as you can see the ship is stable and uh, the fact that I'm pulling on it and when the cable even if it starts moving in different directions it won't bother the ship. The ship stays nice and stable. And the good thing about this is that you can actually take your mobile rig here and go to an asteroid and mine it and then come back to your base and use this same hinge system to unload your cargo in your main base or have the ship as your main base as you like. So it's pretty good. As you can see here, moving here, it's all following pretty good. Nothing is breaking. So yeah, 
That's it. I want to actually move the ship right now because um, when I'm capturing the video, currently the game crashes as soon as I... Well, I can move it a bit, but I can't go too fast. Well, let's move it a bit to show you how this works. Basic ship right here, hydrogen thrusters. Oh, pull the cable in, of course. See, you can leave your welding ship or mining ship in the front. It'll pull it in without an issue, and you can even travel with the ship in the front. I wouldn't recommend it though, because you might damage your ship, but it's possible. I can even help it by moving it. You know, rewind a bit faster. So, as I said, don't move too fast with the ship or the rotors will explode and you'll end up breaking the ship. So yeah, basically that's it. I hope you guys like this conveyor system. I hope um, the mod will keep getting updated so it keeps working. I hope the Keen will actually fix the issues with the rotors and so we can actually use them at high speed without having them explode. I think they fixed the pistons, I actually haven't tried that out yet. I will soon, but I'm hoping they will fix the rotors so we can have rotors on a ship, move at high speeds and they'll stay fixed and not explode like they do at the moment. So what I recommend, I think I'll stop this video here, what I recommend is um, right now you don't put this on a ship, uh, it's good for your base, you could actually maybe make a, you know, I, I think I'll do that and put it on the workshop, I'll make a wheel like this with some merge blocks, make it a basic ship, and uh, you could actually place it wherever you want, so if you go to an asteroid, you could place it on that asteroid and start mining with it, hook it up to a transport ship or whatever. I'll think a bit about that and put something up on the workshop. So what I'll do is put the all my the welding ship, the greening ship and the mining ship. Uh, I'll put this big ship on the workshop too so you guys could look at it. I don't uh, recommend you use it at the moment because it's pretty cool but the rotors are an issue, so I'll put everything up on the workshop so you can download it and check it out yourselves. Anyways, uh, I'll leave this video here. I hope you guys liked it, and uh, I'll make some more videos soon with more cool stuff that I invent. Okay, so see you guys. Bye.